Okay, graded students, welcome to our math tutorial. For quarter four, week three, we will be proving inequalities in a triangle. Now for this week, I will be showing you the answers in the evaluation part of your self-learning kit, since we have already discussed in weeks one and two, the different theorems on triangle inequalities. Just sit back, relax, let's get started. In the evaluation part of your self-learning kit, we are to complete the proof by giving the missing reasons. So we have there given segment AD is parallel to segment BE. C is the midpoint of segment AE. And then we are going to prove that AC plus CB is greater than AD. Let's start. Number one, segment AD is parallel to segment BE. The reason there is given. Number two, angle CAD is congruent to angle CED. The reason there is alternate interior angle theorem. Now, since it was stated that AD and BE are parallel, we consider segment AE as transversal. Now, in this theorem, it states that the alternate interior angles are always congruent. Number three, C is the midpoint of segment AE. That is given. Now, since C is the midpoint, it therefore divides segment AE into two congruent segments. So we can say in number four that AC is equal to CE by definition of midpoint. Now in the figure, angle ACD and angle BCE are vertical angles. That's why in number five, they are congruent by vertical angle theorem. Now based on statements number two, number four, and number five, we can conclude in number six, the triangle ACD is congruent to triangle ECB by ASA postulate. Now from that concept, we can also say in number seven, that AC plus CD is greater than ED. That is by triangle inequality theorem, which states that if we add the length of the two sides of a triangle, it is always greater than the length of the third side. Now, in number 8, CD is equal to BC. We get this idea because of statement number 6. Our reason there is CPCTC. The congruent parts of congruent triangles are also congruent. Now, since CD is equal to BC, so we can replace the CD in number 7 with CB or BC. That is why in number 9, we have there AC plus CB is greater than AD. That is by substitution property of equality. So we have already presented the proof for this evaluation. I hope the proof is clear to you. Thank you for listening and have a good day. Once again, this is Bunyasa Kappa, your math teacher. See you on the next tutorial.